Good morning, Bill here with another edition of Metal Minutes. Today is Wednesday, April 7th, 2021. Well, hopefully you were able to take advantage of the blue light special that we mentioned last week, as uh, gold and silver have both had a nice uh, pop from the low points that we've seen probably for the year uh, we're in last week. So this week we've seen gold up 3%, looks to continue that trend, at 17.43. We see silver up 4% at 2507. Platinum also got in on the action, up 4% at 1240. And palladium was flat at uh, 2666. I think it was down $2, but uh, insignificant in percentage terms. For the one year mark, uh, gold is up 6%, silver is up 66%, and platinum is up 67 This is the first time uh, this year we've seen, or in quite a, quite a long time, that we've seen platinum uh, break ahead of silver for the one year time. It's up 67%. And so we'll probably see silver and platinum continue to outperform. Uh, for the remainder of this year. Now palladium is flat uh, for the week, but for the one year mark it's up 22%. So again, uh, there's still opportunities out there, still some good value, and we hope you can take advantage of it. Something that we've seen on an international scale is uh, nations are beginning to decrease the amount of dollar-based assets they hold in favor of gold. We've seen the dollar as a reserve asset decrease by about 1% a year for the last seven years in a row. And so in its place, the, the largest replacement we've seen has been gold. And one of the reasons is nations are trying to buttress their reserves, they're trying to prepare for the future of a devaluing dollar. And we've seen a global phenomenon also on an individual level. There's been approximately 150 million people drop out of the middle class over the last year. First time since the 1990s that we've seen anything similar. And incidentally, it also is the first time since the 1990s we've seen the dollar make up such a small part of international reserves. And so uh, this should be telling us something. Hopefully you're able to respond to that. And uh, whatever savings that you're doing, don't forget to save a, a portion of that in uh, gold and silver and uh, other precious metals. Platinum is another good consideration. And uh, hopefully we'll see the economy continue to uh, do better the rest of this year. And that will be good for platinum as well as silver, especially with all of the uh, the EVs coming out, the, the emphasis on solar power, alternative sources of energy. Not that uh, carbon fuels are going away, but they're really pushing us towards uh, electricity and solar power and that kind of thing, electric vehicles. And so that, that will also be a good boost for the precious metals. Thanks a lot. Uh, have a great rest of your week, and we'll talk to you soon.